I'd like to thank everybody for helping with pheasant hunting with a bow. From the sponsors to the shops, the people who purchased videos in the years past, we've held off on selling it for years now. And as a thank you to basically you people on YouTube, Hey, you got us up to almost 12 million views. Thank you very much. We're going to release the full video for free. So we broke it down into four parts. Part one is going to be some shooting, training, how we practice from aerial targets, from milk jugs to clays, etc., getting ready for our pheasants, and dog strategies, how we use pointers, how we use retrievers or flushing breeds. One guy uses a house pet for that matter. Just to find the birds, we'll show you how we use that to get up for archery hunting and make it to our advantage. Video two. Video two is going to be the hunt. We're going to get out and actually hunt our pheasants and show you how it goes. And we're also going to cover some specialized equipment that actually makes the hunt a little more easier for you because the whole idea is to be comfortable. The more you're comfortable at the end of the day, the more you'll be focused and the more success you'll have. Video three. We're gonna show you how we fletch our arrows. Um, I do a very specific fletching that gets a really clean uh, flight for a flu flu um, off the arrow rest, which is kind of a difficult thing to do. I shot a lot of slow motion, watched it, and uh, you'll see the fletching I use. It makes it really easy to hit targets. Video four, <laughs> it's your time to reap the rewards. I got a friend of mine, that's a top chef, he'll deny that, but he's a fantastic cook and he cooks a meal uh, for pheasants, quite honestly, to die for. And we'll have that full uh, cooking episode. We got a whole bunch of other videos. Um, uh, some of me selecting equipment, how to pick out a compound. I got a compound this last year, it was fantastic. Um, a Ventum 33 from Hoyt. Uh, fantastic arrows, I'll show you the arrows I got. Match one uh, uh, arrows that are just uh, incredible flying arrows. Uh, the accuracy is unbelievable, we'll discuss that. And uh, I've got a couple more videos coming out, chasing elusive back tension. We're gonna be covering that shortly. And uh, got a whole bunch of stuff for you, so you can check them out at Archery Only uh, or on uh, my YouTube site. We also got videos if you're interested in the pheasant hunting or just shooting aerial targets. We got a whole series of videos already up that show you how to hit targets out of the air, step by step. Uh, disregard the ad in the beginning of the video. We basically put a plug in there for the video for sales. We don't do it anymore. The video is for free. So just enjoy the videos. Just skip right through that. Get to the aerial targets and learn how to hit stuff out of the air to amaze your friends. Quite honestly, it's not that hard. If it was, I wouldn't be able to do it. And I'm pretty successful at it. So we're going to show you how to do it. It's basically a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Great shot, Ron. Pheasant hunting with a bow. With Wayne Pearsall and Ron Vanderheiden. Hi, I'm Ron Vanderheiden. And I'm Wayne Pearsall. We're up here in Northern California hunting pheasants with a bow at Quail Point. And we're going to talk about bow hunting strategies for shooting pheasants out of the air, along with what type of equipment you can use to increase your odds and averages on shooting a pheasant out of the air. Hunting in California, like in most western states, our pheasant season runs 10 to 12 weeks long, and that'll give you an ample opportunity to cut your teeth on your first archery pheasant hunt. But your other alternative is a bird club, like Quail Point. These clubs are virtually open six months a year for dog training and pheasant hunting. And this would be your absolute best opportunity to get multiple shots at pheasants and take your first pheasant with a bow and arrow. Ron, why don't you share a few of the tips that you've developed in shooting aerial targets for practice? Well, for pheasants or any aerial targets, we start off at a stationary target. And then we move on to milk cartons, one gallon milk jugs. And then we go to hand-thrown clays or thrown out of a trap, which we'll show you. And then it's on to live birds. We're getting ready to do a little shooting. 
Whether I'm hunting elk in Montana or just out shooting pheasants for the day, I like to shoot a few arrows every morning. This allows me to warm up the old muscles and to make sure my bow is shooting spot on. Let's go. It's as simple as this. If you can keep your arrows inside that yellow jacket bee, you're ready for pheasants. If it's still targets or flying pheasant, your ideal range is about 10 to 15 yards. One gallon milk jugs can be stuffed with old rags or carpet to give it a little extra weight so when you're tossing them, they fly a little bit more like a pheasant. When tossing the milk jugs, try to mimic the flight of the pheasant. Shooting aerial targets is a blast. Not to mention it's the best training for pheasant hunting with a bow. This is a great toy. This is a Dogtra electronic bird launcher. This was designed to train bird dogs during the off season. You got a great idea by actually putting clay pigeons in this so we could practice during the off season. Thanks, Wayne. And actually, you can run as many as six launchers off that one controller in your hand. Man. Let her go. Hey David. Ron, good to see you. Wayne? Hey, good, good to, to see, see you guys. guys. How you doing today? Oh, great. We just had a great hunt. Good. And got the opportunity to go out and roam around the hills and such and and it was unbelievable. We had a really good time. Yeah, you'll find out here we have a lot of rolling foothills, natural grass cover, and uh, it makes it a secluded hunt for a hunting club. You know, we can get out uh, and have 50 or 60 guys out here shooting and you're not going to see somebody else. You know, the hills are 250 feet tall. You're in a valley between the two hilltops and that's your boundaries. And the next hunt is a whole other valley over, and so it makes it a really good secluded area. It makes it a safe way to come out here and try shooting with your bow and arrows. We haven't and, seen it. We haven't seen a hunter all day long. Yeah, and you won't. Uh, you'll see him back here at the clubhouse. You'll see him checking in. But the nice thing about our property, and it really sets up nice, is when you go out to a hunt, uh, you're going to feel very secluded, and it's going to be a very safe situation. It's really green. It's the first part of April, basically. Mm -hmm. and this is the latest I've ever hunted pheasants. It's been great. Yeah, we're shooting about seven months out of the year now. We start the second Saturday of October uh, when we can start shooting pheasants, and we'll go all the way to the end of April, if not the middle of May, depending on the weather for the dogs. So it gives us a good six and a half, seven month season. You know, the wild bird season is only six months or six weeks long. And uh, this gives guys a chance to get out here, get the dogs tuned up and warmed up before the wild bird season, go do their whole wild bird season, and we still got a few more months of hunting after that. Now, when you plant birds, I noticed that you guys do a lot of specialty plants. Yeah, what we do out here is we don't have just one truck go out and plant the whole fields. We have six or seven planters out here. Guys will check into the clubhouse. They'll give us some specifics as to what they're trying to get accomplished that day, or if they just want to be surprised a little bit. We radio out to our guys. They meet you at the field. They'll talk to you about what you want to do. They'll go out into your field, plant your birds. They'll come back and talk to you one more time. So we talk you through the whole process. We make sure that you understand everything, get all your questions answered. And then you can go out and shoot till 3 o'clock. There's never a limit. There's never any extra charge or any extra bird to shoot out here. So it's like a custom plant for every hunter. It is. A lot of people have some specific things they want to get done. Uh, you know, they got to get back to get to the kids' soccer games or, and they want to get in and out. Yeah. Uh, we're doing some dog training or we're doing some, you know, working some dogs that are a little older and uh, can't go all day. And then we've got guys that have the young dogs. They want to get challenged a little bit. We'll go to a 60 or 70 acre field and surprise them. And we've got everybody that wants, you know, the easy hunts to the hard hunts and everything in between. Wow. Great. Well, we've had a good time. We're actually going to eat some lunch and get right back at it. Outstanding. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks, right. David. Great to have you out here. It's been awesome. Appreciate you it. You got it. Wayne, why don't you share how we use dogs to take pheasants with a bow? 
Well, you can use almost any breed of dog when you're hunting pheasants, whether you're shooting a bow or a shotgun. My personal preference, honestly, is to use a pointer. Uh, I own a pointer myself, and he's just a great dog to work behind. The beauty of using a pointing dog when you're hunting pheasants is gonna be that when that dog points a bird, you know literally within a few feet where that bird is at, and that's gonna allow you as a bow hunter or an archer to get up on the bird and flush the bird. It's also gonna give you ample time to anchor and aim and make for a good shot because the birds generally want wild flush on you. And the other thing we've learned is the closer you are to the bird when it takes off, it's normally a straightaway shot. If the bird flies straight out, it's a straightaway shot. And if it flies to the left or the right, you turn, it's still a straightaway shot. Yeah, and a straightaway shot by far is gonna be the easiest shot for you to make. And that's why we want to get up on top of these birds to avoid those far out crossing patterns, which is way more difficult with a bow. You can also use flushing breeds when it comes to hunting pheasants with a bow, like Labradors or even Springer Spaniels. Absolutely. In fact, I have a friend that uses a house pet. It just has a great nose, put a check cord on it. They keep the dog from flushing the bird and they move right in just like you and I use pointers. Nice. Video two, we're actually gonna go on the hunt. We're gonna show you how a hunt happens, what it materialized, what you're looking for, some of the secrets to gain success on the hunt. And we'll also show you some specialized equipment we use, not to really get pheasants, but to keep you comfortable in the field. And the more comfortable you are, the more energy you'll have at the end of the day, the more success you'll have. Video three, we're gonna show the fletching. We're gonna talk about that and I'll show you some of the new things I'm doing with uh, my fletching arrows. And we'll show you the old one between the two uh, things that you're gonna be able to fletch the perfect arrow for your hunting experience. One of the new videos I have coming out is gonna be never lose another arrow. Now these are Axis shafts from Eason, bulletproof shaft. This is what I'm using for pheasant now because now it's a heavier arrow and it flies a little longer and faster. I'm, get, I'm able to tag my pheasants out 20, 25 yards, so I've done as far as 30, which blows me away. When I hit a bird 30 yards away, I fall down the grass and start doing like snow angel. I can't believe I did that shot. Um, but that's what these arrows do for me because they have the weight and the speed to get there. I'm gonna show you how we, why we paint the shaft. Kerry, a buddy at my uh, club, uh, came up with this. It's been invaluable for finding arrows. I'll show you how that works. Um, we use Luminox which really brightens up, especially in low light. You can see it a mile away in the field, which is fantastic, helps you uh, locate your knock. The fe feathers I use, we'll talk about flight and why we use them. And I also put pheasant scent on my feathers before I go hunting. So if all else fails, I put my dogs on my arrows, they go through the field, they point my arrows. I've never lost another arrow. We'll show you how that all works. All right, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting. Remember to hit all the bells and whistles, all that kind of stuff. I think you guys know what to do, subscribe. You probably already, hopefully you're subscribed. Thanks again for watching. See you in the field.